lang tayo para mas makita natin better. A baseball player catches a ball 3.4 seconds after throwing it vertically upward. With what speed did he throw it and what height did it reach? Drawing muna tayo, no? So, A, B, and then C. So, at least ipakita mo yung nag-decrease na arrow. Ah, sorry. This is the B. And then, this one is the C. Actually. Mm. So, at point C, the time is, the final time is 3.4 seconds. So, alam natin dito, maximum height is 0. Ah, okay. So, what with what speed did he throw it? Anong speed niya ng letter A? So, VI is unknown. What height did it reach? So, what's the maximum height? That's unknown. Okay, so... I think, mag-solve muna tayo ng kanyang maximum height. So, ang formula natin ay y max equals negative vi squared over 2g. So, y max equals negative um, vi squared. Ah, oh, I see. Hindi natin siya masasolve kasi hindi tayo given ng initial velocity. Hindi din tayo given ng um, maximum height. Yun ngayon sa solve natin. So, gabit natin yung isa. Yung, let's solve for the maximum height, uh, maximum time equals VO, VI, rather, over G. Masasolve natin yung Tmax. Pwede, natin, pwede tayong mag um, infer from the total time na nasa area siya. So, since 3.4 yung total time from A to B to C, hatiin lang natin, di ba? Kasi 2 times yan ng uh, maximum time at the maximum height. So, if you divide 3.4 seconds divided by 2, sige, ipakita na natin. So, final time is equal to T max. So, I'm looking for T max, I divide, kaya I isolate ko yon. So, divide this by 2. So, the final time is 3.4 seconds divided by 2. That's why T max will be 1.7 seconds. Okay? Mm, ayun, nasolve ko na uh, the time at the maximum height. I will continue with this one. So, the initial velocity is unknown. Wait a minute. So, T max equal to VI, negative VI over G. T max is 1.7 seconds. Negative VI, pwede kong hahanap, mahanap, and then 9.8 meter per second squared yung g. Acceleration due to gravity. So, I multiply both sides by negative 9.8 meter per second squared. Yeah, so I can cancel this. So, negative vi 9.8 times um, 1.7. Sixteen point sixty six. Uh, I cancel one of the seconds pala. Negative sixteen point sixty six meter per second. So cancel na din natin yung um, dalawang seconds. Ayan. Pwede natin makancel. Remove na natin. Kasi both of both sides has negative. If I divide it, if I divide both sides by negative one, so negative over negative will become positive. Okay? Sige, hindi ko na din ipapakita. 
So that's my initial velocity. Ayun, pwede ko nang ma-solve yung um, nandoon. Sa taas. So, na-solve ko na ito. With what speed? This one. Now, let's solve for the maximum height na narating niya. Ito ko na isulat ha. So, the maximum height will be computed this way. So, negative initial velocity squared divided by 2 times the acceleration due to gravity. 16.66 meter per second squared. 2 times negative 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay, so negative 16.66 squared is... Okay, so negative 277.56 meter squared per second squared. 2 times um, negative 9.8 is 19.6. Negative as well, 19.6 meter per second squared. Y max. Okay. I'm sorry, ah, na nagulo yung solution, but don't model, don't uh, model my very magulong solution. Mm, I can cancel the uh, negatives. I can cancel the second squared and then one of the meters dun sa baba. So, 277.56 divide 19.6. 14. Point sixteen. Point. <laughs> 14.16 meters. That's my maximum height. Okay. So, you're just using two equations, no? Let's solve another one. A kangaroo jumps straight up to a vertical height of 1.45 meters. How long was it in the air before return? Returning to Earth. Give lang ko ng y max. I am only given y max. 1.45 meters. Pero I have g. Diba? Negative 9.8 meter per second. The velocity at the maximum height is 0. So, ang tatanong sa atin, the required is what's the final time from a to B to C. Okay? What's the time here? At point C. Hmm. We have two equations. Uh, it's always safe to solve for the, ano, no? For the initial velocity first. Ang equations natin ay, sige, sulat natin, Tmax is um, negative initial velocity over g and then our other equation is for the y max y max is negative vi squared over 2g sobrang magkatul ma parang magkatulad pala yung dalawa no so pwede ko meron ako ng g meron akong y max so i think i can use the y max equation first so 1.45 meters Negative vi squared divided by 2g. 2 negative 9.8 meter per second squared. So 1.45 meters negative vi squared negative 19.6 meter per second squared. If I multiply 9.8 by 2, oh, sige. I want to isolate yung initial velocity, kaya I multiply both sides by negative 19.6. Okay, cancel this. Okay. Negative vi squared. Okay. 19.6 times 1.45. 28 
28.42 meter squared, meter times meter, no? Second squared. Negative siya. I can cancel both of the negative sides, no? At both sides of the equations. Only do that, kasi na, na, ano na lang, sila na lang dalawa yung natira, no? But if there are other factors, for example, meron pa tong plus something, tapos negative yun, you cannot cancel, Okay? So, may square. May square yung VI. So, ilagay mo siya sa square root para matanggal mo yung square. So, VI, square root of 28.42, 5.33. 5 5.33 meters squared become meters. Second squared becomes second. So, what you did on the right side, you also do it on the um, left side. Ayan, meron na tayong VI. So, square root. Ibig sabihin ng square root. Um, dalawa yung answer mo. This is actually positive and negative 5.33 meter per second. Yung positive, yun yung initial mo. Yung sa point A. Yung negative, yun yung velocity mo at point C. Remember the speed symmetry. So, how long? How long? Okay. Kasi diba yung... Um, total time, I will just multiply T max by 2. So, kunin natin yung T max. T max is equal to 5.33. I will use the positive one. No? Kasi, initial velocity yung hinahanap sa akin. Pero magne-negative pa rin siya because of the equation. Negative 9.8 meter per second squared. Sige. Let's take time to cancel them. Meter and meter, I will cancel. I will cancel the second dito sa taas. Meron pa ko doon natira sa baba. So, 5.33 divided by 9.8. Kasi pwede ko natin i-cancel yung negatives. So, 0. Point, okay, medyo maliit. So, gawin natin apat. 5.39 seconds. So, if I multiply this by 2, I will get the final time. So, TF final time is 2 times 0 0.5439 seconds. The final time will be 1.09 seconds. Okay? Okay, sige. Dalawa yung answer, but just consider the positive one. Because we're talking about the initial velocity. The final velocity at point C will also be the same but is negative. Kasi syempre, downwards siya. Okay, let's do another. This is the last one. Oh, sorry. Here. Okay, yan. A ball is thrown upwards 